This video, we're going to be showing you how to run dollar post patch in Madden 25 and giving you kind of an understanding of why this defense, I believe, is probably the best defense post patch. If you guys want to get my updated version of this defensive ebook, it is available in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. If you want to sign up for that, that link is going to be in the description. $10 is going to get you access to everything that you need to win more games in Madden and college football. The link is in the description below. Now we're going to be talking about Dime 3-2 today, and we're going to be showing you our audibles. These are the best audibles for the scheme, in my opinion. Cover 6 Willie, DB Fire 2, Edge Blitz 3, and then Cover 4 Quarters or Cover 4 Palms, whichever one that you want there. If you shade this down, it'll play like just Zone Drop, but if you want to use Match, you now have that within your realm of possibilities as well. Coach adjustments for this defense. Auto flip is going to be off and auto alignment is going to be on base and then option defense is going to be on conservative. So the basic thing with this is you're always going to be coming out in double safety go every single time, but you're going to be flipping this. It's really important that you flip this at the play call screen. Now I'm going to give you one little tip that I think is going to completely change your defense. And that is that for the, for pretty much everything that we're going to be doing here defensively, we're going to be using this right of screen linebacker. So what I want to show you is DB fire two. What we're going to do is we're going to just move this guy off on the line of scrimmage, move this guy down onto the line of scrimmage, and then we're going to click back onto our user. And what you're going to see is just by doing that little step right there, it can make this blitz come in about a thousand times faster than it does otherwise. Now, this also is going to affect your cover six Willie. So you'll see here, I audible to cover six Willie. And literally all you have to do to set the splits up is just call the blitz. You can do whatever you want with the coverage behind it. One of the things that I think is pretty good is doing something like this right here. Um, I really like middle thirding, um, but you can also quarter if you want to. But essentially what you're going to see is this blitz is going to loop through the A gap. Now with your user, one of the little things that you want to do is you do want to um, kind of move your user out and you can pinch your D line if you want to do that as well. And you're going to see here this time, we'll be able to get that blitz in consistently. Another big tip that I have for you if you're running dollar is you want to make sure that this defender right here has double or nothing. Mark Gastonaw is fairly cheap. Joan, uh, mean Joe Green is fairly cheap. They both get that, that ability. Now, the next blitz we're going to be going over is Edge Blitz 3. And again, I've just gotten myself into the habit of moving these guys down. If you want to pinch your D-line, you can. I do think it's a little bit better for DB Fire. But for Edge Blitz, I will say this is probably the worst, a little worse for Edge Blitz. It can still come in, as you see right there. We're still able to get it. But it does make the blitz a little bit more inconsistent another big tip that i have for you when running this defense is to get a small player type like an ed reed i got pj i think pj lock there right now but just a smaller faster safety in this left linebacker position because he's going to be blitzing a lot the next blitz we're going to be showing you is this db fire too and really the way that i like to set this up is when you pinch your D line you're going to move these guys off like this when you pinch your D line what i want you to do is i want you to slant the defensive line inside and then i want you to keep qb contain now the beauty of this is you can take this right of screen guy and put him in a zone or whatever coverage and we're just going to send four and you're going to see that this slot corner is going to scream off the edge every single time for a sack so you have a nice little send four out of db fire as well in this if you don't want to use db fire you can pretty much use anything so like right here i'm going to use cover four quarters now if you take these these zones off you know, it is going to make your coverage a little worse, but we'll just use something like this out of quarters. We'll just shade it underneath, and you're going to see for the most part, this is still going to get fairly decent pressure off the side. So you don't have to be in DB Fire to do this, but I do think it's better out of DB Fire. And then the other thing uh, with this is let's say that they were flipped. Okay, they're going to flip their formation, so the bunch is on this side now. Well, now what we're able to do out of this is we're able to kind of have the same blitz just off the right side here. So you see, same basic idea. And there we get that little send for passive pressure. The beauty of dollars, you don't need great blitzes necessarily. You need to be able to switch sticks. So you have that as well within this. And then a send five blitz that I really like currently out of this game. And again, you can kind of adjust this however you want, but we're going to do the cover six Willie. 
we're going to bring this guy down. We're going to blitz him off the edge, and then we're going to pinch or D-line and QB contain. So you see this is what it looks like. Uh, the snap of the ball, we're just going to lurk into coverage. We're not going to run down to the middle. We're just going to basically work into coverage here so we can play if we wanted to play like a, a cover three cloud type of look, we could do that. And what you're going to see is against a blocked running back or a lot of meta pass pros, this blitz is still going to work for the most part. And you're still going to be able to get some pressure out of cover six, Willie. Another underrated blitz, in my opinion, out of this defense is actually literally stock edge blitz three. So we're going to bring this down. We're going to this guy down like this. And we're actually going to send five out of this. So the reason I like this version of it um it's just a little bit more consistent and it's a little better against like a block running back or something like that a lot of times this slot corner will actually be the guy that comes free as you see and it just makes it a little quicker right so all just kind of methods to try to get quicker pressure as you see here when i pinch my d-line if i don't move this guy down this slot corner can move a lot so that's just something you need to kind of be mindful of but i really like moving these slot corners down right now Let's see here See how fast that slot corner can come in off edge blitz three. So these are just kind of some of the main ways that I like to blitz right now at a dollar. Again, cover six Willie. We're just going to walk this guy down, walk this guy down, click onto this guy, pinch ready line, and then we're back on our user. And then you can adjust however you want. And if you run to the right side, you're going to get that a gap loop. And then one of the biggest counters that people are going to do is they're going to actually go grab the play. One of the things that people are going to do to try to block this is they're going to call a play action play. So in this case, we'll just show you what that might look like. So I'm going to have this play action play, but I'm actually going to send my running back out. And I just want to show you that this can basically block uh, cover six release. So like, again, let's see if I move this guy down, move this guy down, right? And this is the whole purpose of having DB fire, but cover six really, as you see, it just gets picked up really well. And this also has pretty good potential and success rate for picking up um, Edge Blitz 3. So if I send Edge Blitz 3 like this, you'll see the play action blocking can sometimes pick this up. Sometimes it'll still loop in, but it can be picked up that way. So one of the best tactics, in my opinion, to kind of counter that, this is where I love to mix in the DB Fire stuff. So we'll just bring this guy down, bring this guy down, pinch, uh, slate inside contain and then we're standing right here again just like this and now we're going to send our db fire blitz and as you see it's a lot better against the play action so you want to be mixing in kind of this db fire especially if they're blocking this if they're blocking your first two blitzes out of willy and stuff you want to be mixing in this db fire because the cool part about this db fire is we can even get like a four-man pressure as you see right there against play action blocking so the four-man from db fire is probably the most underrated blitz in the game right now at a dollar and then mixing in your coverage, I think is super effective. Anyways, I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you guys want to check out my full dollar defensive ebook, it's going to be linked in the description below. You can go sign up for our school community for just 10 bucks. It gets you access to all of our Madden and college football 25 content. The link is in the description below.